All right, when you dine at the Italian Daughter, you wish you could make some of those delicious items at home. Well, head chef of the Italian Daughter, Chef V, is here to help us make carbonara for National Carbonara Day. Absolutely. So it was National really cool. Day. So, all right, what is carbonara? Carbonara is a pasta that eats pork guanciale with pork cheek, eggs, parmesan, and pasta water That's all it. together. It's okay. a sauce that we created in Italy. Very easy to make at home. Very easy, so, yes. Um, you were talking about the more important part is, of course, this right here. Yes. This is a guanciale. We call pork cheek. Uh -huh. which, uh, if you don't have this, you can use a pancetta. The difference is that what it makes carbonara best is because the guanciale has more fat. And that's the fat that you're gonna need to create the sauce yeah. for do you, the carbonara. Can you find that already chopped up, or do you do you, you want to buy it? You can find in the store already chopped up. Okay, good. Because yes. this, I mean, I would not chop it up in those little pieces. That's a lot. Yes, there for and it. then you cook it down. You get good. the fat like we're doing right now. So, and that's important there. So I, let's show that to the camera. Where can we show this? I want to yes. show this in here so that people can see. Like, it's almost looking like it's little pieces of bacon. Yes, it looks <laughs> like that. Yes, absolutely. So okay, now this is the very important part. And that is the pasta being put yes, in there. Yes, we're already pre-cooking some so, pasta. Now, you got different pastas that we can make this with, right? Yes. So, okay, we so can use any shapes you, you like to use. I like it. And, and so what's this one right here? This is gnocchi. It's made by potato, eggs, and flour. Okay. And then it's very it's fresh. We make it by the restaurant. We yeah. have some um, Cresta de Gallo. It's fresh pasta, too. Awesome. Some pocketing. It's a, like a bigger rigatoni. It's a very nice uh, cut of pasta. And then we have spaghetti. And then we have a black ink. Squid. Spaghetti too. Ooh, yes, it looks, looks so delicious. Okay, so now we got this going. All right, now what's our next step? So we have the pasta going in here. We're waiting for the fat, all the fat to get in the pan. And how do you know when all the fat's in the pan? It's just kind of. You can see all the, all the liquid oh, coming that's out what you, of the pan. So that's, that's what you, you want. Fat. Yes. Okay, I got it. All right. Part. So then nice. the, the next step is more important. Okay. We're gonna use some pasta water. Yes. That's, that's what we created the pasta. We don't use cream or anything, just pasta water. Just the pasta water, that's what I was told. A lot of people want to go and get cream and make it up yes. and put it in there. So I like it. So we got a little pasta water in there. And then And then the pasta is coming out of the pan. So you wanna cook your pasta al dente. Okay. Do you want to drain the pasta? No, I don't want to drain the pasta because I'm still gonna need some of those liquids. Okay. Going so in don't there. drain it. All right. There we go. Putting that all in there. Oh, look at that. So as you're getting that in there, and this is one of your signature dishes there at the Italian Garden, yes. isn't it? Yes, we make carbonara every day at Tanzova at the restaurant. We actually use, you have the egg yolk at yeah. the end, we table side the egg yolk on the pasta oh, dear. at the oh, wow. restaurant. Okay. Yes. All right, so now what do we got next? Are we so got now the going? best part is we got to take it out of the heat okay. because you don't want to overcook the eggs. Got it. So take it off the heat. We drop all the egg yolk. Perfect. And we start mixing it, mixing it to create the sauce. See, I, how long did it take you to learn how to do the wrist movement? Uh, it takes practice. <laughs> <laughs> we my, do that every I, day. I, I did it once and then I went and ordered out. Just all the food went everywhere. See, we're creating this kind of, <laughs> we're creating this kind of creamy and sauce. Yeah. And then we add some cheese. fresh Romano cheese. All right. And then we mix it up together. There it is. And do you want it to get thick, or is it gonna, or is it gonna stay? No, you don't want it too thick. You okay. want it to be loose, so you can actually enjoy. It. Actually, in Italy, what we do, we use some piece of bread oh. and get all the sauce. Out. Oh my God, that's <laughs> the best part. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. <laughs> all right, we're gonna plate this up. Yes. All right. So, get it in there. Wow. Look at that creamy carbonara. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Okay, but of course. And then we have. A, Gotta put a little bit of pepper on there. As much as you want to. I, let's, I like that. There and it then is. Cheese. And then more cheese. Cheese. Italian so, love cheese. Here we're gonna move this out of the way so we can see they can. There it is. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And that's the dish. That's it. That's the we dish. We did that's that easy literally dish less than four minutes. And our, most of the time we were just talking. So that's awesome to get done there. It is the Italian daughter. Don't forget they got the cannolis over there for you. Information's around the screen. How you go and enjoy the Italian daughter and some great food. So, all right, stick around. We got more of the mix coming up right after this.